and I'm gonna walk you through this 1v2 I did on my assassin earlier this week and what happened here is I instantly started in stealth and then I wall jumped off of that pillar to be able to get on the second level so they couldn't just spam their mouse one abilities to be able to get me out of stealth so now I'm on the top and I, they're on the bottom level that I'm working on getting to this pyromancer right here which I open on with a stun and then I hit three punctures and as you can see I'm line sliding with this little log there and then I hit my Pantera's kiss for some damage and run away with full health stealth and then I run backwards towards the other side, which they're running, because um, they think that I, I kept going in the same direction, but I went backwards so they couldn't shoot me out, as you can see the um, Pathfinder is trying to shoot me out just then. Uh, they're both running up, trying to find me right now. They're both like probably spamming their abilities, trying to find me. The Pyromancer goes up towards the right, and the Pathfinder goes down. So I go after the Pyromancer again, and I'm kind of giving him a second to see if he's going to pop a wall of flame. But uh, I get behind him right now, and I think he sees me, so I stun him. Uh, puncture him again, and then I have I'm out of energy, so I have to hit my strikes, and then I'm just kind of finishing him off. Like I know he's pretty low, I can take some damage and some full health. It's not a big deal. Uh, I shadow shift him to be able to one v one him without the pathfinder, and I kill him instantly. And I run out uh, stealth back, and now I am exactly where I started. You know I'm safe, and I'm ready to one v one this pathfinder over here. Um, I'm pretty confident right now fighting this Pathfinder because I feel like with a full reel of energy I'll be able to take a lot of his health away pretty quickly and just be able to shut him down. He is pretty smart in his positioning though for starting positioning, uh, but he does kind of make a mistake. He runs to me a little bit, so I, I shot a leap onto him, stun him, and then I'm, I'm back on him. I already popped three punctures and did a Pantera's Kiss for the damage. As you can see, he's about to take a chunk out of his life and I'm stealth but he gets a painting shot off so this kind of sucks for me I can't get much damage off right now but I'm using my blocks trying to keep him away but he gets an explosive trap on me again right as the explosive trap goes off I go ahead and shadow leap to him and then stun him right there three punctures or I only get two punctures off in a Pantera's kiss I hit him once more uh, w once more again he jumps off I know he's dead so I kind of just resign I stealth and he's dead and that does about sum up the uh, 1v2 but hey guys, I do want to let you know that the CEO of Dark Veil Games, as I told you in my last Assassin tutorial video at that, um, emailed me offering me a ton of keys to be able to give away for Forge to you guys for free. So I'm going to be doing a few videos on Forge to be able to give these Forge keys away to you. I love this game and all you have to do is uh, subscribe to my channel, which that's it, and then comment down below on this video and feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. That's about all for today, guys, and I hope you do win your copy of Forge. Last week's giveaway winner for a free copy of Forge is on the screen now, and I will see you guys next time. Cartoons out.